So welcome to Invisible Selling. There are three critical points I'm going to tell you about Invisible Selling before I give you five strategies to how you can use Invisible Selling in your life. The first thing I want to state is that it's to do about selling to people by using the knowledge of their unconscious brains. And some of you are thinking, what's the big deal about that? The unconscious brain, the unconscious mind, these concepts have been around since the days of Freud, and plenty of motivation speakers have spoken about it. But by and large, what Freud thought about the unconscious mind, and by and large, what motivational writers think about the unconscious mind is wrong. And the strategies that I'm going to talk about are backed by the latest research. The second reason is that most of these strategies are counterintuitive, as you saw in the first instance. You will never understand them by introspection or intuition. There are only two ways to understand them. One is to get knowledge from an external source, like this talk, and the other is by doing various experiments yourself, which could take a lifetime. And a third critical thing I want to mention about invisible selling is that it is urgent. You have to know how to sell invisibly because according to Daniel Pink, a Stanford psychologist and author of a book, To Sell is Human, we are bombarded by about 400 messages per day. Now, if you were to just go back to your day yesterday and think of all the messages you got on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Google+, and on Twitter, you think he's underestimating the amount. If you're getting 400 plus messages, it is impossible for you to filter all of them for merit. And hence, you're going to be unconsciously influenced about what you're going to do about those messages, rather than consciously decide what to do. So if you do not understand unconscious selling, you're not going to be able to reach these guys, and you will be invisible. 